Hey, Omnizod, I know you won the, the Guess These Logos thing. I will be getting to that video after this one, but this came up, I was just looking through my subscriptions, and this video came up, and it, it, it hit me so hard I needed to make a response. So that video will be coming up very shortly. Thanks for your patience. I, I also want to be able to do a little bit of research to make that video as well. Uh, street harassment. Now, this is in response to something that happened on a video by Marina Shut Up. Uh, her video was about street harassment. I posted a comment a few months ago um, basically defending what she said because a lot of people in the comments seem to have this slippery slope in mind where it would somehow result in a 1984 type police state and you know ev everything you thought or said was monitored carefully and you know I hope we can all agree this is pathetic and ridiculous but Hi Origin uh, maybe that 1984 kind of argument is something that you've dealt with with other people but that's certainly not my argument of course I wasn't even involved in that thread because I was generally done with that subject and I wasn't expecting you to be someone who would talk positively about the feminist viewpoint of that subject. I, I just was not expecting that from you. But uh, are statements and thoughts and a police state and a 1984 thing is not my argument at all. Um, you know, the, the replies to my comment kept coming in. There was a, uh, there were these two guys going back and forth for ages, so there's quite a lot of responses to it. But um, I think I want to explain my position a bit more clearly here. Um, the, the idea behind not harassing people in the street is not making them feel uncomfortable. Some people are uncomfortable with someone coming up to them and asking them what time it is. Some people are uncomfortable with someone coming up and asking, do you know where this street is? That sort of thing has happened in Seattle. Seattle had something happen about, I don't know, 12, 15 years ago, called the Seattle Freeze. And it doesn't have to do with temperature, physical temperature, thermal temperature. It has to do with attitudes, where everything started becoming about the clique that you fit into. And if anyone comes and talks to you, they're going to be somewhat cold. It's one of the things that I liked so much when I was living in Eureka, California, because it was completely the opposite of that. You could come up to just about anyone and start a conversation, and people were genuinely nice, helpful, and kind. I enjoyed that a lot. It was a wonderful feeling. In Seattle, not so much. Tacoma, it's a little better than Seattle, but it still has some of that coldness to it. You know, the only people that seem not that way are older. The younger people are just kind of freaked out if you start to talk to them. And do you know what has done this? Social media. Social media is destroying our ability to be nice, kind, and just friendly to each other in person. Now, this isn't a foreign concept. We were taught something like this as kids. It was called manners. No, this is not the manners thing. This is that whole bullshit narrative of never talk to strangers. But it's trying to be applied to adults. One of these things, for example, is you don't chew with your mouth open. Why? Because not all people, like, I don't really care, maybe you don't really care, but I would say most people, the vast majority, don't want to see the contents of someone else's open mouth. It disgusts them. It makes them feel uncomfortable. So we don't do it. And street harassment is really no different to that at all. Being friendly to people 
is not the same thing as chewing with your mouth while playing. <laughs> no, those can't be compared. Um, you know, there may have been a time, or maybe there still is, where if you live in a small village, you know everyone and you do talk to them on the street. But in cities, in towns, that doesn't happen anymore. People. That doesn't happen anymore because social media has destroyed our ability to be nice to each other. It's destroyed our ability to treat, I mean, to just be friendly to each other. It's destroyed that. So everyone is going to think that someone is going to treat them like what happens on social media. Well, this person wants something from me. Oh, what does this person, you know, what is this person going to do to me? All that sort of thing. That's what this has turned into. It's like everywhere is turning into the Seattle freeze. And that's crap. That's not something to promote. Have stuff to do. Um, they feel quite anxious about being approached by strangers, no matter what the concept. And you think that's a good thing? You think we should coddle that sort of thing? You think we should continue to keep in motion this, this terrible thing that's happened to our culture, mainly because of social media and the fact that people don't actually talk to each other, they hold these things up instead of actually having conversations with the person next to them? But when you have someone going up to you and even, you know, even if they are complimenting you about their appearance, that's very personal. That can be very awkward and it is really uncomfortable. So we should just lock ourselves in this little world of social media and walk down the street ignoring everyone that's around and anyone that wants to acknowledge you in any way, you should be uncomfortable, treat them like they're going to try to do something terrible to you. Oh no, I am uncomfortable because someone has acknowledged me. Surely it doesn't, well surely that's not something that's too hard to grasp. It's not hard for me to grasp. It's hard for me to accept that this is our new reality, where everyone is cold to each other, where everyone is scared of each other. That's, that's hard for me to accept. Okay, if that's what it's like being in a big city where everyone is just cold to each other. I mean, I used to love the idea of living in a big city. I used to love that idea. And there still are some cities where people can be pretty friendly. I don't want to be somewhere, honestly, where everyone is cold, where nobody's friendly. I don't want that. It is one thing that I like about smaller towns and smaller cities. I don't think larger cities should have to turn into that sort of, this, this, this terrible coldness, like the Seattle freeze being, being spread everywhere. I think that's terrible. And all Marina is saying is, let's treat street harassment the way you treat other things that are grouped into this category of manners. Again, that doesn't have anything to do with manners. That has to do with being friendly. You, you seriously can't compare <laughs> with, hey, how's it going? I'm sorry, you, you can't compare those things, man. How's your day today? No, dude, no. You cannot compare those things to each other. I think, I think it's more rude to never say anything to anybody. It's cold. It's cold. It's absolutely cold. Don't do it because it makes people feel uncomfortable. What's next? A speech about microaggressions? You could go take this element of, oh, don't make people feel uncomfortable into the way that someone dresses. You know, I wear these belly shirts and some people think it's crazy and it probably is to, to, to for the most part, to most people. But I'm willing to do that. It makes just the way you dress can make people feel uncomfortable. How much are we going to conform? Do you think we should all be conformists?
I, I just couldn't disagree with, with some of the things you're saying here more. I couldn't disagree more. Now, I don't see how that would lead to a 1984-type police state. It doesn't. It leads to people being cold, unfriendly, where people can't just talk to each other. It leads to what this has done to society. And it's promoting what this has done to society. Maybe more things do get added to that category overall, but there would have to be a reason behind it. There would have to be a reason that makes people feel uncomfortable. And I think we're smart enough as a species to be able to draw a line somewhere and say, well, look, this can qualify, but, you know, this is a bit of a stretch. This, you know, it doesn't really make people feel uncomfortable. It's kind of going a bit too far. It's already going too far to think that someone can't come up to someone and start a conversation. That someone can't come up to someone and say, how's your day today? That someone can't come up to someone and say, you are beautiful. It's already gone too far. You seem to have no sense of, of that sort of thing. And I, I can't wrap my mind around how someone like you, who used to be so re equating coming up to someone and, and saying, how are you doing today, with I don't think street harassment fits into that category. I don't think someone coming up to someone and saying, hi, how are you doing, or that sort of thing, or even you are very beautiful, constitutes street harassment. Harassment is when you come up to someone, say something, and they say they're not interested or they don't want to talk to you or they're busy or whatever, and you continue to bother them about it. That's harassment. And it's not harassment before that. I would use the label feminist to describe myself for two reasons. First, um, I believe it means nothing more than believing in gender equality. How very Steve Shives of you. And second, because, well, really out of protest at how other people are trying to make the definition a bit narrower to refer to the crazies. You mean wider, not narrower. And you've got both the feminists who are the crazies who fit into that category doing that, and the anti-feminists who want it to be like that so they can discredit the whole movement. There are so few feminists who aren't saying that batshit crazy stuff that it's hard not to include them within the definition. It's hard not to widen it into that. And unfortunately, via this video, you're showing you fit into that same category. You think it's harassment to talk to someone on the street. You think it's harassment to be friendly to people on the street. Everything should be on these or something. I, I don't know, you've never explained. Um, I'm protesting that by calling myself a feminist. I, I don't really see you protesting anything. I see you starting to fit the mold that Steve Shives started to fit. Steve Shives used to be really reasonable before too, but now, not so much, and I'm starting to see the same with you. Um, skepticism within the feminist movement is just dying. Everyone's just kind of gr grabbing onto this ideology and just kind of agreeing with it. Because our society is becoming so cold. And everyone's afraid of saying something because, well, it, it, might, uh, it might offend someone. It might make someone feel uncomfortable. So we need to be cold to each other instead. And, you know, but the important thing there is to not think that you know all there is to know about me just because I use the label feminist. There's... Look, Steve Shives is reasonable and has a number of things when he goes outside the realm of the subject of feminism. But with the subject of feminism 
and the feminist subjects, he has drank all the Kool-Aid, and it looks like you're drinking the Kool-Aid too. And it's disappointing, man. Really. You know, I will get into the nuances in future videos, and you've probably heard my positions on other things before. But, yeah. Uh, as always, what do you guys think? Uh, comments appreciated. Uh, jumping down my throat appreciated as well. Whatever it is, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Sorry, I'm one of the people that's jumping down your throat, but I think your position on this harassment stuff is completely unreasonable. Um... It, it, my respect for you has went down a lot since finding this out about you. I'm, 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 it's not like I'm going to unsubscribe. But on this subject, I, I just can't believe you've went this route of thinking that we sh that people in real life in the city should be cold to each other. I'm appalled at it. Just absolutely appalled at it. Hey there, if you want to continue seeing more of these types of videos, please consider donating to my Patreon account. I will leave a link in the description bar. Thank you so much.